Following the outline future air dominance system requirement issued by the Royal Navy earlier this year, BAE Systems has begun development of its air warfare command ship solutions and other supporting elements. The company shared their initial design ideas, including increased automation, modularity, and efforts to ensure affordability. BAE Systems Air Warfare Command Ship concepts are large platforms intended as this Type 83 centerpiece but are just one element of the future air dominance system distributed air warfare approach. The small number of high-end crewed ships will be supported by a larger group of autonomous or optionally crewed platforms. The starting point for BAE Systems concepts is the Type 26 frigate, with its mature hull form, proven build process and adaptable baseline. Drawing lessons from the Australian Hunter class and Canadian surface combatant programs, the team highlighted the complexity of modifying combat systems once a design is fixed, particularly in relation to radars and combat management systems. For Type 83, the intention is to de-risk future integration by planning for key interfaces early. Due to the divergent requirements between an anti-submarine warfare frigate and an anti-air warfare destroyer, the new ship has been changed significantly. The mission bay, exquisite propulsion system, and other acoustic hygiene measures demanded by anti-submarine warfare will not be a feature of this platform. Changing waterline length, adding a large radar at height, and the need to ensure stability while carrying heavy missile silos demands considerable rework of the Type 26 design. Three design variants have been developed by BAE Systems. The high-end version of the Air Warfare Command Ship is a 160-meter Air Warfare Destroyer light cruiser of around 10,000 tons. This is a large but conventional warship design, armed with up to 128 vertical launch system cells, directed energy weapons, 57mm and 40mm guns. The mid-sized 150-meter variant retains many of the same characteristics but places greater emphasis on automation, ease of manufacture and reduced crewing. A low-budget 130-meter option, derived from the earlier adaptable strike frigate concept, has been paused after running into equipment density and cooling limitations, but could be revived if needed. BAA Systems confirmed that work is underway to deliver a fully modernized combat management system to the Royal Navy under the long-term record contract awarded in 2024. The program aims to deliver a second-generation combat management system architecture that is likely to form the foundation of future air dominance system together with force-level target evaluation and weapon assignment. This concept replaces platform-level engagement logic with a force-level system that dynamically pairs the best available sensor, effector, and shooter to engage each target. Using machine learning, force-level target evaluation and weapon assignment will optimize which ship or system fires at which target based on capability probability of kill, and munition conservation. The engagement sequence, from target detection, prioritization, engagement, kill assessment, and re-engagement, will be coordinated at machine speed, allowing human operators to supervise and veto rather than manually manage each step. This shift is essential when facing saturation attacks from multiple vectors. The company has also received funding to begin development of a new air defense radar to replace Samson and Artisan systems. To allow the ship design to proceed without waiting for final radar specifications, a generic radar mast interface has been designed for the Air Warfare Command ship. This allows for flexibility in sensor choice without compromising ship build schedules, and provides a clearer export pathway by allowing partner nations to specify their own sensor fits. Radar development is being approached as a cross-domain investment, with potential application in land and air domains as well as maritime. A major driver in all three concepts is the need to reduce sailor numbers through automation and advanced platform management systems, with a ship's company target for air warfare command ship of under 100. Work is being done to see if additional damage control, firefighting, and power reconfiguration functions can be automated and AI-assisted beyond today's already lean crewed platforms. Comparisons with the U.S. Navy highlight common themes as the DDGX program advances the development of next-generation guided missile destroyers to replace the Ticonderoga-class cruisers and early Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. Like Type 83, the design places emphasis on growth margins for sensors, weapons and survivability, but benefits from being part of a much larger and capable existing fleet and budget, aiming for 294 battle force combatants by 2030. Elsewhere, the continued expansion of China's People's Liberation Army Navy is accelerating, expected to reach 395 ships by 2025 and 435 by 2030, 
with the destroyer fleet alone doubling from 20 in 2003 to 42 in 2023. Total PLA Navy VLS capacity projected to double again by 2035. The quality and capability of their warships and missile systems is highly variable. The Royal Navy looks set to standardize on the MK-41 VLS for its fleet, but the primary effector for future air dominance system will almost certainly be MBDA-made Aster missiles or derivatives. Although MBDA solutions may be a little more cost-effective, long-range air defense and ballistic missile defense missiles still have price tags in the pound millions. If the average cost is around £2 million per weapon, this implies a total cost of more than £250 million to fully arm just a single Type 83 if equipped with 128 VLS cells, never mind additional platforms. Just as the specialist anti-submarine warfare-focused Type 26 has been an international success, if properly funded and well executed, the future air dominance system project has the potential to attract foreign partners and warship exports. Some of the smaller European navies may well be interested in buying into a non-Aegis-based solution or even operating in a joint air defense construct with the Royal Navy. BAE systems acknowledge the ambitious nature of the future air dominance system vision, particularly given the rapid timeline and budget pressures. However, by designing for modularity, possible export flexibility, and crewing reduction from the outset, the company believes the program can deliver a credible high-end air warfare capability without repeating past cost and delivery issues. After a very slow start, production efficiencies are now beginning to be achieved in the Type 26 program. BAA Systems is also looking at other ways to improve the speed of manufacture, including much increased use of robotics, advanced welding techniques and greater use of lightweight composite materials. The investment in facilities on the Clyde means that construction of even the 160M variant could be accommodated in the new covered shipbuilding hall at Govan, potentially in parallel with the last of the Type 26 frigates. With timelines tightening and the air defense threat growing, the Royal Navy Type 83 program is accelerating towards the assessment phase. What remains clear is that it will not be a like-for-like -like replacement for Type 45, but rather a rethinking of how the Royal Navy projects layered air defense in the missile-saturated battlespace of the 2030s and beyond. The focus is on delivering survivable, scalable, and sustainable ships that can operate as part of a wider force mix rather than as standalone assets.